This is SLA TV, television for the beef cattle industry. Get paid the most for your cattle by putting over 30 years of video livestock marketing experience in your corner. Established in 1987, Superior Livestock Auction is the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Superior sells forward contracted and immediate delivery load lots of cattle on video auctions that are broadcast on satellite TV and streamed online. In addition to Superior scheduled auctions, you can also sell your cattle at any time through Superior's online country page or by private treaty. We were very skeptical to begin with, but it's worked out great for us. Seems like Superior is always kind of the trendsetter. That's why we've been doing it for 20 years. We've had really good experience with them, I guess, after 28 years. If we hadn't, we wouldn't be with them yet. Superior Livestock Auction sells more cattle each year than any other livestock auction in the U.S., giving you the best opportunity for top dollar on your cattle. Superior does it by marketing your cattle to the largest qualified buyer base in the nation. That network of people is so huge that creates a perfect venue. They open up a whole new world of buyers that can look at your cattle. That slings our loop out a whole lot further than just uh, Texas. Our cattle get a little further away than just Central Oregon or this Northern California country. To go through Superior, we were able to go back east with the cattle, where before we didn't have that option. I've been buying on Superior about 16 years. When a consigner hauls cattle to a sale barn, there's extra shrinkage, extra trucking involved, and somebody's paying for that. At the end of the day, buying off Superior is more efficient because you're buying them directly off the ranch. It works like this. A rep from Superior will meet you at your ranch evaluate your herd, and then advise you on the best way to merchandise your cattle. Then your cattle will be professionally recorded on video. The video is used to present your cattle at auction, so your cattle never leave your ranch until delivery day. My grandfather used to put them on a stock car and go to Sioux City, Iowa. Now we have it World Wide Web. You can watch it on the internet or TV. On sale day, Superior's highly experienced auctioneers and sales team will sell your cattle to the largest qualified group of buyers in the United States. By exposing your cattle to such a large buyer base, you maximize competitive bidding to generate a greater income than what you would typically get at a local or regional auction. When you watch a Superior sale, it seems like that they do bring a, bring a premium. Different people buying them, that, that competitive deal is kind of tough to beat. They're seen by probably pretty much every person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much established the price. We weren't selling the greatest, and once we switched over, we started selling at the top. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have security. When it's time for delivery, the buyer will take care of transportation. You don't worry about hiring or managing trucks. Your superior rep will be there when your cattle are sorted and loaded, and then write you a check when it's done. Simple as that. Also, be sure to ask your superior rep how to best utilize Superior's nationally recognized value-added programs in your operation. Superior set the industry standards for calf vaccination, age and source third-party verified, and all natural programs. Superior's value-added programs are proven to generate the greatest income at a superior auction and to also increase the value and reputation of your brand. I just think it brings more buyers involved and, and people are looking for that type of stuff. You can go on there and look at the numbers. They can prove it's worth it. So you can't make any money any faster than investing $3 and getting $40, $60, $70 back. Superior's number one focus is getting you the best paycheck possible. Most producers only get one paycheck a year, and that's why more cattlemen and women trust Superior Livestock Auction to get the most out of every sale. Your hard work deserves top dollar. So call Superior at 800-422-2117 or discover more online to learn how Superior Livestock Auction can work for you. The Superior Country Page is the leading online marketplace for buying and selling load lots of calves, feeders, and breeding stock. The Country Page is an efficient, easy to use, and low cost solution for selling cattle. You set the price and move at your pace with flexible delivery options. The Country Page matches the best buyers to the best sellers at the best price for both parties. Call or log on today to find out more about the Superior Country Page. 
Take control of current market conditions on Superior Livestock's weekly video auction. Register your load lot cattle by Tuesday, sell them on Thursday, putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Superior Livestock's weekly video auction has over 8,000 active and qualified buyers and they're paying top dollar. Jump in, the bidding is hot. Call or click superiorlivestock.com to learn more. We care about our animals, we care about the land. I want people to know when they come to our farm that they do a quality job. They're concerned about their animals, they're concerned about their people, they're concerned about the environment. It's a genuine interest that drives our company. We can enhance our animal welfare, our environmental sustainability, or our relationship with our coworkers. We're going the extra mile to do the right thing in terms of animal care. If you approach it with attention to detail, care, and, and really love of what you're doing, what you will end up with will be a quality product. We can help provide an example, create an inspiration, serve as a sounding board for people who also want to pursue those same efforts. The real impact is simply just that it, it matters. Do you have a video that should be on SLA TV? Individuals and organizations are invited to share their videos with SLA TV. Let us know about your video by sending an email to sharemyvideo at sla-tv.com. My name's Keith Meyer. I work for Hebner Brothers Ranch. It's a ranch that's been in my family for over 100 years. Our main location is south of Bay City, Texas. Uh, right now, we are, we're at the mouth of the Colorado River. Uh, we're, we're bringing these cows off of the Mat Matagorda Peninsula. That's where, we, that's where we put the majority of our cows for, the, for winter time. And uh, the peninsula is just a long strip of land between the Gulf and the Bay. Uh, it runs from the mouth of the Colorado to the Port O'Connor Jet and it's it's close to 30 miles so it's it's a long strip of land and it's a lot of riding for over 100 years Kubner brothers drive cattle by horseback and cross the Colorado River from there cowboys drive cattle to their summer pastures in Bay City we, we definitely want to get them out of here before hurricane season. I mean, we don't have to, this isn't a trip you can just throw together in a few days. I mean, it takes a lot of planning. Every swim's a little bit different, but on the, the entire trip, I think 10 to 12 guys usually go, and then a couple more good hands come down the day that we swim, and uh, anywhere from 12 to 14 horseback riders when we swim, it takes that, and then as y'all may have seen, we have a couple of guys in boats that help us out, but everybody pitches in. Today, kind of a slow start, getting them started, and you usually have a few calves that are always gonna turn back and swim back, and we can usually catch them pretty easily. Today, we had a few kind of go every which direction, but I think we got a good handle on everything now, so. This is a ranch rich with history and tradition, and Beef Master Cattle is their breed of choice. We roughly run 700 heads, 700 mama cows. They're bred to Beefmaster bulls. Uh, the main thing we appreciate about the Beefmaster breed is their hardiness, their fertility, uh, their ability to, their growth ability, and it works into our program very well. I mean, just primarily where we're located in the kind of country that we're, that we're putting them on. Demand for Beefmaster cattle has increased over the years because of ranches like the Hubner Brothers sharing their success with Beefmaster genetics. Beef masters have the optimum traits needed to excel in efficiency and thrive in harsh environments. This peninsula, this saltgrass country, it is some pretty, some pretty harsh uh, country, pretty tough country. Uh, when we get into spring and the days get warmer, it's some pretty harsh days with flies and, and so forth. And, and the beef master, these beef master influence cattle really hold up in those conditions. These cattle produce extremely fertile, functional, and docile females that the beef industry needs to rebuild America's cow herds. 
beef masters also produce profitable and efficient feeder calves that deliver results in today's volatile marketplace. Most of the weaning weights on these beef master influence calves are going to be between 650 and 700 in the fall. And, uh, a lot, we'll, we'll wean a lot of these calves and, and hold on to them to ship them as yearlings in the spring and we, we try to get them up to 750, 800 pounds. The extreme versatility and adaptability of beef masters are proven by solid results. Beef master bulls are improving herds nationwide, but the highest demand is in the high desert of the Northwest United States and all along the Gulf Coast region, which stretches from Mexico to Florida and the Atlantic coastline. Ranchers in these wildly diverse environments use Beefmaster to anchor the maternal needs for their commercial operations. Biozyme Incorporated is a fast-growing animal nutrition company based in St. Joseph, Missouri. Bob and his wife Lisa, who is the president of Biozyme, operate the company with a heart for making lives better, be it employees, customers, or livestock. If you can't be sustainable, then you're not going to be successful, and so I think that's a huge part of what we try to do is make sure that our products help that producer be sustainable, help that animal do the best it possibly can at what it was made to do. Um, you know, even though its life may be really short, like I always say about a chicken, they're only here for 42 days, but I want it to be the best 42 days it possibly could have been. And if that's the case, then that producer makes more money, which makes him sustainable, which makes our food supply more sustainable, and it's just one big circle that comes, keeps coming back around to keep everything going. Success is really defined here, right, uh, in our hearts. It's not really totally defined about you know, financial success, but, but it's, it's more of that spiritual success. And, and that's what defines us here. That's the platform, that's the basis. Um, yeah, and I mean, I think we both, you know, really believe that God is interwoven in all that we do. And whenever things get a little challenging sometimes, which, you know, that happens no matter what, you know, I'll be like, Bob, he has a plan. I'm not for sure what it is, but I know there is one. And then it'll be like six months later, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, that was the plan. If you like to read and uh, if you like music, then you'll like this story because um, kind of our foundation is, is based upon a book um, and a song. And uh, um, the book is the Bible. And specifically, I think, John uh, 3.16, you know, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And, uh, and then the, the song is a Tim McGraw song, you know, always be humble and kind. So I think if you take those uh, four words, uh, love and give, uh, be humble, be kind, uh, and probably add to that, uh, um, that vocabulary, the, the word about being grateful, that's kind of the foundation. It's the platform uh, that we live here. And the culture is one about uh, um, you, you know, investing in the lives of others. Uh, that's really what drives us here. I served in the uh, Air Force from 1966 to 1970. It was during the uh, Vietnam period. And so I spent a year and a half um, in Kadena, uh, Air Force Base Okinawa, and two and a half years at Luke Air Force Base in Phoenix. So I didn't fly, I was a non-flyer at that, at that point. Just a, just a regular uh, airman. In 1997, Bob worked in Omaha, Nebraska. Because his family had deep roots in St. Joseph and didn't want to move to Omaha, Bob earned his private pilot's license as a way to dramatically reduce his commute time. After Bob acquired Biozyme, logistics and demands on the growing business prompted him to invest in a business jet. And that opened the door to what became one of Bob's greatest passions. We belong to an organization, it's called Veterans Airlift Command. And um, I uh, saw a, 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 an ad or a promotion about what they do in one of the uh, aircraft magazines, and so we contacted them. And, um, and, and so, uh, you know, that's kind of the, 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 the organization that puts together kind of the opportunities that we have uh, to serve uh, a lot of these young men and women 
um, specifically and mostly, you know, uh, men and women that have served in our armed forces in the last 20 years in, in the Middle East. We get a request from them every day for a flight. Some of them are uh, medical priority flights. We try if we can. Uh, if the plane's not being used in our own business to, to uh, volunteer for those. The next level down will just be uh, medical flights, but maybe it's not a priority medical flight. And then there are a lot of um, people, as uh, we'll see uh, in the flight uh, that we have coming up, uh, where uh, a family just needs to get from, they would like to go from one location to another. And it's difficult for, for um, uh, many of these people to be able to, to travel commercially. Let's go inside. Let's see if our passengers are here. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, we're picking up a couple of passengers. Okay, sounds good. Um, hey, here we go. Here we go for a flight, young man. Got an extra passenger today, huh? We do. Fun. Ready to go on an airplane? How are you? How you doing? Taylor Morris. Yeah, Taylor, Bob Norton. How you doing? I met you before. Nice I think when we you. dropped him off the last time up here. That's right. Yeah. No, I didn't get to meet you though, I don't think. Mm -mm. I'm Bob. Daniel. Nice to meet nice you, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Who's this young guy? Will. Okay, well it's nice to meet you, buddy. <laughs> The young man that we're going on our mission with is one of five quads in this country. Quad meaning he lost both legs and both arms in the service. He does have prosthetic devices and we'll fly from here to um, Waterloo, Iowa and we'll pick up this young man, his wife, and um, uh, I, they have a small child with them, a nephew, and we're going to take them to uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Final items are complete and you're clear for takeoff from way 24. On runway 245,200 remaining. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Are we driving? We're driving fast, but we're going to take off. It's bad. Here's coming up, God Amp's coming on, flight level change, 200. Fast as we can turn. Now here we go. I can see a far away. How far do you think you can see? Here with flight 9 of Bravo Zulu, contact departure, have a good flight. Over to departure, here flight 9 of Bravo Zulu, so long. I was explosive ordnance disposal in the Navy and uh, went into the Navy right out of high school back in 2007. Um, I was in Afghanistan in 2011-2012. We were on just a routine combat reconnaissance patrol and uh, kind of started to see all the regular signs and symptoms of, of um, what, what we knew to be an attack that was about to go off. And so we were expecting it and we were just uh, trying to find a place where we could kind of strong point out of and fight from there. And I was tasked with clearing a way into this building. I uh, stepped on an IED, about five pounds, um, anti-personnel device, homemade, and lost all four limbs. So both legs above the knee, left arm above the elbow, and right arm right above the wrist. So the moment I found out he got hurt, I was actually on my way to work and I was, for whatever reason, my friend was driving me to work that day and I got a call from his uh, teammate and he told me that there was an injury and um, went on to say that it was Taylor and he, at that point, couldn't tell me too many details, but uh, let's just say I'm glad someone was else was driving because it felt like my world just went black all at once. I was medevac to a hospital there in Afghanistan. Uh, a day later, I was medevac to a hospital in Germany uh, to get some more surgeries and more cleaning done. 
And then a day later, I was medevac to Bethesda, Maryland, right outside of DC. And that's where I did my recovery for the next two years. And that was in 2012. And I honestly didn't know how I was gonna react. I didn't know if I was gonna break down and cry, if I was gonna wanna run away. I didn't honestly know, but it was this overwhelming sense of relief when I got there that I looked at him, he was awake, he was conscious. And I just knew with the clarity of his eyes that everything was gonna be okay, which as odd as that sounds, because we were literally at ground zero as far as recovery, but I just knew in that moment, everything was gonna be okay. Just took it day by day. You really honestly couldn't see the end picture. And if you tried to, it seemed overwhelming and like you were never gonna reach it. So we just knew to have short-term goals as well as long-term goals and just keep pushing forward. Uh, within a couple of weeks, I was, I was uh, up and going to physical therapy. Um, I was probably fitted for prosthetics maybe on the third week and then just started working with uh, with all the prosthetics there. One good thing about uh, Walter Reed is, is they had an awesome, awesome facility. They had tons of experience. At Walter Reed Hospital, Taylor met Andrew Smith, another soldier recovering from traumatic injury. We kind of went through a lot of the, the same things at the same time. So he was just getting up and walking when I was getting up and walking. And so we kind of, uh, you know, we, we bonded over that. We had those things in common. We, we both le left Walter Reed at about the same time back in 2014. And um, Tori and Andrew started a foundation and down in, in Chattanooga. So that's what we're going down to to see them and, and partake in one of their fundraisers. Just kind of feels like everybody's doing their part, you know, including Biozyme and uh, Veterans Airlift Command. This is a huge resource to have. Um, it, it makes travel a million times easier. Just the thought of flying commercially is overwhelming and stressful, just too much with all the different prosthetics and you know, you have a couple different sets of legs and a couple different sets of arms. It's really, really important to, to make sure those things don't get broken because everything is custom made. It's not like you can just go to the store and buy a replacement part. You know, it's like a it's like a two month process if you break something. Um, another thing is is Andrew, I mentioned, he was on a feed bag for about a year and TSA wouldn't, wouldn't let those through security. You know, he's got, he's got a suitcase full of, of liquid food basically and and they said sorry we can't uh, we can't let you through with that so for him uh, his only option was to travel with with VAC or to, or to travel private so it makes it a million times easier and it makes it it makes trips available that otherwise you probably wouldn't do because it would be too much of a hassle Air flight 9 of Bravo Zulu clear official approach runway 20 or 118.3 every day Clear visual approach, runway 20183, here flight 9 of Bravo, see Lizzie on the way out. Cheers. These are the kind of people that um, I think um, often represent us, you know, in a uniform. Um, th these are the kind of people that um, uh, I think people, it's easy to look at them and maybe see their handicap and not think about, you know, that these, they don't think that way. You know, and they're thinking about, you know, the greater cause. Mm -hmm. uh, it certainly, uh, for sure, humbles us to see these young people. What's up, guys? It's hot here. Sorry, guys. We've been very blessed in so many, many ways in just about every facet of our life. And we've received many gifts as a result of those blessings or part of those blessings. One of the gifts that we have is the gift of that airplane. And, um, and so, you know, uh, we're just using something that God uh, provided for us uh, into a mission that we feel, uh, you know, is, is an important way to serve, uh, to serve others. So I'm hoping uh, whenever there's a need, uh, we'll be able to continue uh, uh, fulfilling that need. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure yeah. meeting you. Thank you again. Thanks Hope again. to see you soon. Thank it's good you seeing again. you again. Yes, sir.
It's good seeing you again, girl. Great seeing you. All right. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. Right. <laughs> Have fun. And thank you for the snacks. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the snacks. That was the best part, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All right. Plan. See you guys. I enjoy flying. I mean, flying is also one of kind of my passions. Um, the day's coming, you know, when, when uh, physically and mentally, you know, I won't be where I think I should be to be a pilot. Um, but, but we'll continue with this mission whether I'm on that airplane or not. Building a better beef industry together is what Blockyard is all about. But how exactly is it doing that? Let's see how Blockyard is putting the production health and genomic information you need right at your fingertips. It all starts when calves are tagged, issued electronic identification, and a tissue sample is collected using a tissue sampling unit or TSU. This sample provides the genomic information necessary to create a digital footprint. The process is as simple as creating a profile on Blockyard and uploading basic animal information. Once animals are enrolled and samples are processed, you'll see breed composition and available parentage results, and be able to order replacement heifer and feeder cattle predictions. You can get predictions on individual animals or on a group of animals. Either way, this secure information stays with the animal or animals, creating a digital story as information is gathered and entered into Blockyard. It's a story that can help everyone along the way, from cow-calf producer to the stalker backgrounder to the feedlot producer. As more data is entered at each stage, Blockyard can help make it easy to make informed decisions throughout the supply chain by documenting each animal's unique story. With Blockyard, you can have the information you need most right at your fingertips. Unlock your value chain with Blockyard. Get started at Blockyard.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us honor our flag and country with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. 
For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets rattled, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Good morning and welcome to Superior Livestock's weekly auction for October 13, 2022. Five lots are scheduled this morning for 154 head. At 11 a.m. this morning, we'll broadcast our monthly Holstein steer auction. 16 lots will be offered, totaling 2,422 head. Looking ahead to our next regular Superior Livestock auction on October 20, 202 lots have been cataloged for an offering of 23,455 head. For more information on consigning a supplemental lot or to get a buyer's number, you can call us at 800-422-2117. Now let's look at our first lot today on our weekly N617 is the lot to buy by Bressler Cattle Company, Roosevelt, Utah, 110 steers and heifers, all at 440 with heifers selling 15 bucks back. They'll deliver October 18, weather permitting. On that day, we're going to haul them 20 miles, unload them, sex, size, and weigh them straight. 15 cent slide on the VAC 34 plus. And your auctioneer this morning is world champion auctioneer, Charlie Cummins. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Clyde and Superior family. And take a look here. I want to buy Red Angus. Look here. Light ones. And here. And here. What do there? 210. Five, Thank you, Bressler Cattle Company. Let's go to lot number N618 by Michigan State University. 11 wean steers at 575 pounds. Buyer of the A lot has the option on the B, C, and D lot. Now, these are out of Red Angus cows by Red Angus bulls, 100% red hided. They'll deliver November 29, weather permitting. On that day of delivery, you're going to weigh them on the ground straight. 12 cent slide, one load gate cut in each lot. And buyer of the A lot has the option on B, C, and D. Charlie? Yep, it here. Michigan State University, get an option, clear up to the D lot now. You can take 11 or more. I'm bit here to buy them. I'm buying 210, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10
Takes the A lot. I got 240, 41. 240. He takes Sailed the A the B lot. Got the B, C, and D left. And 240. Now one. Money's on. 41. And 40 bid. One to buy. Got three lots left. I'm bid. 240 bid. One to buy. All through all time. And 41. And 41. 31 and 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, 41, How many lots would you like on the click to bid? You got 15 seconds and we're counting. Sell the C lot for the option on the D lot. 230, and 31, and 31, he going to take them both. And 234, 5. Yes, he will. They're tied together. Taking them both. 34, 35. Hit 234 to bid. Sold 234. Next up. And she got the option on the D lot. He takes them both. Okay, our next uh, lot's going to be on our uh, monthly Holstein steer auction. That happens at the top of the hour in just about 48 minutes. We have 16 lots to be offered, 2,422 heads. We'll see you back at the top of the hour. Hi, Mark Oppold, wrapping up a great sale here and getting ready for another, just another busy day here at Superior Livestock Holstein sale coming up. But right now we're talking horses, second annual fall roundup horse sale coming up this Saturday. It'll be at Heber City, Utah. Joe Leverage with us this morning. Talk about that. Joe, uh, I've said before going on the air, you do this two years in a row. Now you've got an annual event. We have an annual event. We're stuck doing it, I think. <laughs> All right. This is, uh, again, your second annual sale, performance horses, trail horses, working horses. Talk about the lineup you've got this Saturday. We got a really good selection of of some good quality horses, uh, anywhere from some ponies, kid ponies, to rope horses, ranch horses, trail horses, uh, a couple sport horses that will ride and drive, some draft crosses that that do the big gentle stuff and do the tricks, and we got a really good selection of horses. Coming. You bet. And they're coming from a select group of consigners. I know you're proud of them, and 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 want to let uh, you know, kind of spotlight the folks that are going to be part of the sale with their horses. Right. So. So the consigners we've got that come to this sale, we've invited specifically mm -hmm. because we see what they do in the horse business. They're, they're performance type people, they're ranch type people, they're outfitters. They bring a really good selection of horses. They, they're good hands. Um, they stand behind what they sell and, and they're, they're just really good horse people. You, and you mentioned you've met them at different horse sales or, or horse shows. You know about them personally, you know about their background. So, it all comes together this Saturday. Correct. You saw uh, one o'clock, by the way, Mountain Time, the viewers, those of you tuning in again this Saturday, one o'clock Mountain Time at Heber City, Utah. And Joe, you've got a, a ride for the cause of money going to charity. I know and people really will get into that as well. 
Yeah, so this year we joined up with a company called Bear Hug Cattle Company. They're, uh, it's a group of Army veterans that have, have left the Army. Um, mm. They select four, four Army guys that, will, uh, that have retired from the Army. They uh-huh. want to get in the ranching agriculture world. And, uh, and so they select four of them. It's a 12-week program. They, they go they go from Montana, Wyoming, Colorado. They ride horses. Um, they learn how to be cowboys. They rope. They brand. At the end of it all, they have a rodeo, a charity rodeo. Um, what we did is provide them with the horses this year, and then we selected the six best that we liked the most, and we're going to put those in the cell. Uh, the commission that would go to the cell is actually going to go back to the Bear Hug Cattle Company and help their program grow and continue doing what it's doing. Wow. Wow. Well, congratulations. What a cause. Uh, and we love our veterans at Superior Livestock as well. So we thank you in advance for that. So, Joe, again, uh, Saturday, one o'clock. Have a great sale. Looking already forward to the third annual Roundup sale next year. I'll take a break and then we'll get going for it. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure. All right. Joe Leverage joining us from the ranch here, Heber City, Utah. Again, that Saturday, one o'clock Mountain Time, all right here on Superior Livestock and click the bid. Again, that Holstein sale is coming right up. Lot C 1373 consigned by the Enos and Company Incorporated. 320 steer calves based at 650. They're home raised in Baker, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 24th. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Thomas Nelson. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. Lot C 1446, consigned by JP Cattle Company, 37 cow calf pairs based at 1250. Located in Hamlin, Texas, they're coming to you October 15th through November the 5th. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C1477 consigned by Jim and Ty Larson, 200 steer calves based at 630. They're home raised in Forsyth, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 23rd. On a 12 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, gap 4, NHTC, and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1498, consigned by the Bressler Cattle Company, 110 steer and heifer calves based at 440. They're home raised in Roosevelt, Utah, coming to you on October the 18th. On a 15 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Shane Frost. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1518 consigned by the BB&H Ranch Co. 62 feeder heifers based at 790. They're home raised in Winifred, Montana. They'll be coming to you October 10th through the 22nd. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 60, represented by John Henry Beardsley. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C1521, consigned by the Cape Mud Springs Ranch, 80 heifer calves based at 580. They're home raised in Dalton, Nebraska, coming to you October the 15th. On a 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 34 plus, represented by Doug Hinton. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. 
show the world that you ranch the superior way with apparel, hats, and other merchandise from the Superior Online Store. Whether you're looking for a gift or something for yourself, the only place to find official Superior Livestock branded apparel is at SuperiorLivestockStore.com. The online store features name brands such as Port Authority, Click, and Dry Duck. Hats, jackets, shirts, vests, gloves, coolers, and much more are just a click away. Order today. Lot C 1373 consigned by the Enos and Company Incorporated. 320 steer calves based at 650. They're home raised in Baker, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 24th. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Thomas Nelson. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. Lot C 1446, consigned by J&P Cattle Company, 37 cow-calf pairs based at 1250, located in Hamlin, Texas. They're coming to you October 15th through November the 5th. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C1477 consigned by Jim and Ty Larson, 200 steer calves based at 630. They're home raised in Forsyth, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 23rd. On a 12 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, gap 4, NHTC, and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1498 consigned by the Bressler Cattle Company, 110 steer and heifer calves based at 440. They're home raised in Roosevelt, Utah, coming to you on October the 18th. On a 15 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Shane Frost. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C 1518 consigned by the BB&H Ranch Co. 62 feeder heifers based at 790. They're home raised in Winifred, Montana. They'll be coming to you October 10th through the 22nd. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 60, represented by John Henry Beardsley. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. C1521 consigned by the Cape Mud Springs Ranch, 80 heifer calves based at 580. They're home raised in Dalton, Nebraska, coming to you October the 15th. On a 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 34 plus, represented by Doug Hinman. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. The Superior Country page is your 24-7 marketplace for buying and selling load lock calves, feeders, breeding stock, and other cattle. Cattle ranchers like the Country page because it's easy to use, and they get the jump on current market conditions by putting cattle in front of buyers right now. Cattle are ready for sale in minutes so buyers can start bidding. Call or log on today to find out how the Superior Country page can work for you. Coming up. It's an absolute blessing to be able to do what we do for a living with the kind of people we're able to do it with. They really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. We have more tools in our belt than anybody else. Hear the story of how Superior Livestock Auction changed the way cattle are marketed, next on The American Rancher. Hello and 
Welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. In 1987, visionary cattlemen Jim Odell and Buddy Jeffers launched Superior Livestock Auction and forever changed the way cattle are marketed. Over three decades later, Superior is North America's leader in cattle marketing. Innovation is at the heart of the Superior story, but relationships drive it. And as a generation at Superior continues to move the business forward, the next generation is already raising the leadership bar higher. When Superior started, they came to the industry with a new, a new toy. And it was, this, it was this new technology and they were cutting edge and I think everybody knew it would work. It was just whether it was, is this gonna be the new way or is this gonna be a gimmick? We've been working with these guys 40 years. From when they first started, I met them in Brush and they had this idea, it became superior. It was December 15th of 1982. I had my own production studio in Amarillo doing mainly TV production industrial presentations, and a good friend of mine walked into my office uh, with uh, Buddy Jeffers and John Templer, who owned Amarillo Livestock, and they were looking at putting a video auction together. And they had a videotape from uh, a man that shot the video from Channel 7, and they were gonna look at that on, on my TV monitors to see if they could tell enough of the cattle where they could sell it. And so they looked at it and they said, you know what, I think this will work. Jim Odell came right here and they were just starting Superior, him and Buddy Jeffers. And we had a meeting right here in this big house. And we signed up, that was the first year we'd sold them on Superior, I think. I think 32 years we've been selling them. What the video allowed was to open up to a market, a nationwide market, where you had several people bidding on your cattle, rather than just taking them to the sale barn or getting that one bid from that one or maybe two order buyers. We achieve true price discovery because it's a competitive format. There's bidders from all over the country bidding on your cattle, and it's not just one person saying, hey, I'll offer you this, or this is my best offer. It's people competing against each other I like to think of it as, I'm gonna take my cattle to the market and I'm gonna let these people argue how much they're gonna pay me for it. And you can actually get what the market is, what is fair value at this location, at this exact point in time. It's price discovery at its best. I know what a Florida cow and Louisiana cow is worth today when we got through because I just saw 107 loads of Florida cow and 120 loads of Louisiana cow sell, so I know what one's worth. Uh, another feature of, of what I like so much about Superior, you know, it, in so many transactions, uh, there's one party that wins and one party that gets shorted. And uh, I've always been a believer that for it to work long term, that everyone has to win. And we see buyers getting what they want. Sellers are happy, buyers are happy, and really everyone wins. The goal of the auction is to sell the cattle to the highest bidder who will make the best use of the cattle which maximizes the value for both buyer and seller. Superior has the responsibility for the seller, but also after the cattle are sold at auction to the buyer too, to make sure that those cattle fit the contract and how we sold them at the auction. Superior always contacts you uh, uh, a day after delivery to make sure you've got the cattle. If there's anything wrong, uh, and we have had, as I say, in the past, some deals that weren't uh, quite what they were to be, we were always satisfactorily taken care of. Uh, they stand behind their project and what they do. Twenty thirteen, uh, we were on the market. There were several companies looking to purchase Superior. We were very fortunate to have National Livestock Credit Corp buy Superior. In the past, there's always been one or two owners, and that's not the case anymore. We actually put together a group of owners. So now there's actually an investment partnership that we have multiple owners. So it's a, it's a company that owns Superior now with multiple owners that put money into it. One of the really nice things about uh, the national team that, that was brought in in 2013 is, is a staff of professionals that take some of the pressure off of uh, the accounting functions, the legal functions. Uh, some of the the day-to-day -day, uh, corporate side of things uh, to allow the uh, 
dedicated professionals at Superior put that focus back on what they need to be doing rather than taking care of the details. National's leadership in the cattle industry is cutting edge. They gave us the resources we needed to stay competitive in the future and stay ahead of our competitors. The Credit Corporation actually is a very unique kind of company that got set up back in the 30s. You don't see them very, very often anymore. Our motto is for ranchers by ranchers because almost every single one of our loan officers run cattle at home. The idea of taking a company that's been around for 90 years now and stacking Superior on top of that gives it a great foundation of we have consistency, we have proven consistency over 90 years. Superior's been around for 30 now. It's going to continue to move and grow. The other thing to tell a producer is sometimes bids and buyers overreach and the market changes and being able to rely on, in, on that contract is important because there, there's other entities that might not be able to honor a large contract. One of the things that's really important to consigners when we hear it year in and year out is knowing that they're getting a good check. We are very pleased to add another level of security in that to already time-tested and proven method. The superior name has such a reputation for the money always being there. And so we still really strive to make sure that that's going to be the case. Above all, the money is good and the money is in, the, in those consignors' hands the second the cattle's picked up. Up next. They really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. We'll take a closer look at the innovation that helped make Superior the leader in livestock marketing. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Over the past three decades, Superior Livestock Auction changed the way cattle are marketed and their innovations have helped to improve not only their customers' bottom line, they've advanced the entire beef cattle industry. One of the things that we're committed to here at Superior Livestock is, uh, is serving our core base of our business in the best way possible. And that core base uh, of what we do is, is selling calves and feeder cattle. However, in doing that, we are involved in a lot of things that contribute to each other. Here at Superior Livestock, we talk about full circle marketing, and it really relates to the fact that we tie all the different facets of the industry together, from the commercial cattlemen to the seed stock producers to the industry partner, all working for one common goal. And to use Superior Livestock, you know, a company that's got a vast number of buyers, nationwide, whether it's a stalker operator in the Central Valley of California or, you know, a farmer feeder outside of, you know, Council Bluffs, Iowa or a feedlot in Nebraska. It's unbelievable the resources that that company has put together. They're so well integrated in the, in the industry, whether it be the, the American Rancher or the purebred that the work that gets done at Superior Productions with Joe Lichty and Jason Barber. And, Superior Livestock's always offered cattle that have good genetics behind them, but I believe that Superior's resources and investment in resources on the purebred side has really bolstered that. The ability that it's given us to identify those cattle when they sell and the genetics and where they've bought the bulls, I think has really tied the industries together full circle. The cattle have good genetics and end up performing year after year, and that's kind of what makes our buyers come back. We started a summer auction event in the summer of 1989. Uh, the first year we went to Breckenridge and uh, it was a customer appreciation event and rep training and that's all it was. And uh, Jim Odell at the time, you know, he said, we're going to do this again next year, but we better have an auction to help pay for all this stuff. Really it was the beginning of, of, of what became the summer video sales. Weekend in the Rockies, which became weak in the Rockies, and then we started adding, you know, Winnemucca was the next one, uh, Video Royale, and then uh, Bighorn and Sheridan, Wyoming. I mean, we moved around Wyoming a few times, uh, Casper and some other places, but we landed in Sheridan. We sell the majority of the, the calves on, on those big auctions. 750,000 calves will, will go to auction at that time. 
it's a great time to do it. We can um, get together with our customers and, and, and the buyers that come. Those summer sales are just nobody can compete with them, the amount of buyer base that they have for that. Well, at the sales, there's a certain camaraderie amongst the reps, but uh, the fun is seeing the ranchers, and it's really fun when the buyers show up, and then you can, the buyers can meet the ranchers, and everybody finds out what the other guy is doing. You know, one rancher watches what his neighbor does, and and it just it, they build on each other, and they can see how that maybe they can make add value to their cattle by doing what the neighbor's doing. Everybody's familiar with the, the Superior video auction that happens every two weeks and then the big summer sales. So uh, what, what a lot of people don't know is there's an auction every Thursday and it's on Dish Network. It's on click to bid broadcast on the internet, uh, along with a lot of production sales. We own a company called LiveAuctions.tv and a lot of purebred cattle are sold through that. If the live auction is, is not for you, the country page is a great way to sell cattle. Uh, you can list them and, and people bid on them until they negotiate a price that everybody's happy with. And then if, if that doesn't work, if you just want to say, hey, I want to sell my cattle today, and you call your rep and you say, hey, I got a buyer for them, we'll do a private treaty deal. Our job is to merchandise cattle. Commodity cattle, if they're uh, calves right off the cow, if they're program cattle, there are multiple buyers for each of those sales. We talk a lot about program cattle, okay? You know, the NHTC, Verified Natural, GAP program. The VAC programs were the first of the value-added programs. Uh, so VAC 24, VAC 34, VAC 45, uh, VAC Precon. What that did was it established a, a way for, for us to tell the buyers that the cattle would be healthy when they received them. You know, these other programs have come along because there was a need for them. So Agent Source, we need a third party verification to, to show these cattle were not over 30 months of age or we could not export them to uh, Japan or anywhere else because they required it. So what Superior did was just recognize what the ranchers were doing, what the market needed, what the market was asking us to do. And so what we did was we, we analyzed the data after the year. We'd have, you know, a group analyze the data and say, okay, these are the programs that create value. I think it makes more difference to the buyers. If, if they know the cattle are handled correctly, the shots are done correctly, the weaning's done correctly, the shipping's done in, in an orderly fashion, you know, they take care of the calves, that's a big deal. The one thing that, that the video market in Superior has done is they've, they've really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. Superiors has evolved the protocol to where it's a whole different deal. Live from Superior Livestock Auction, it's another Superior Sunrise. Superior Sunrise is another great marketing tool we have here at Superior Livestock. It's our 30 minute live television show that airs prior to each one of our commercial auctions. It's an opportunity to talk about the market, preview what we have on the auction, visit with our industry partners, our superior livestock representatives, and also highlight our producers. It's a great way to start each auction. We have American Rancher that actually goes out and highlights, not just says, hey, yeah, superior sells cattle, but hey, look at this ranch. I love the stories where it's, you know, grandma and grandpa scraped together and barely made the farm, and now they've turned this into a huge operation that they can set up the next three or four generations of people to run the cattle in that family. At any cell barn, you're limited to the number of people that you could cram into that little bitty building. And that's the way it was originally. And so what Superior was actually letting this these markets do is it doesn't matter how big your room is, it matters who has access. Instead of how many people can you fit in this 200 people cell barn, and that would be a big one even at that, it's how many people have the internet because that's how many people can watch the sale. Anybody who has the internet is now sitting in our cell barn. Part of leadership is not being satisfied with where you're at. We're developing new things to, to make sure we're on the cutting edge. We're trying to cut out all the unnecessary steps to, to become a better company and to get your uh, cattle to market faster. Technology is going to change. Uh, we, we've seen it already. We went from the big satellite dishes and big camera, TV cameras 
to using iPhones and internet and we're writing software right now that that uh, streamlines the contract entry so we don't have to fax. In the past, our reps would, they would turn in a contract and they wouldn't have any access to that contract until uh, their proofs came out, which would be a couple days after the deadline. Uh, now they've got the ability to go in, manage their own consignments anytime they want, request changes to those consignments during off business hours. So in the evenings, at night, early in the morning, they don't have to wait for us to be in the office to get assistance. What's the most useful part is that this catalog is a really uh, good example of what the proof, is, what it looks like in the printed catalog with all the icons. And the extra benefit we added here uh, at the bottom is really for the reps is to show any affidavits or certificates that are missing. One of the advances that we've made recently was in 2020, we moved into a new building here in uh, Hudson Oaks, Texas, and we moved from the stockyards uh, in Fort Worth out to this building custom made for what we do. It's a big part of the future and how we're gonna serve our customers, our reps. We have recently uh, added a, a new Western presence with an uh, office in Boise, Idaho to even better service our reps and our customers in the West. Any way we can bring buyers and sellers together as part of the price discovery process. We have more tools in our belt than anybody else. So you string all these things together and then you bring in some of the leadership that we've gotten from National and, the, and just the experience of the industry and you put all these things together. There's not another company that has what we have. After the break. It's an absolute blessing to be able to do what we do for a living with the kind of people we're able to do it with. Innovation takes a back seat only to the most important element of superior livestock. That story is next on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Superior Livestock Auctions leadership in cattle marketing has changed the industry. And while innovation is at the heart of the superior story, nothing is more important than trust and close relationships. It's a people business where we're selling cattle from people to people, enhanced with technology, kind of like salt and pepper on a steak. The key to success that we've talked about is the public auction and bringing the buyer base and price discovery, uh, a nationwide buyer base to your cattle. But uh, the, the other part of the key to that success is that we're local and we are as local as your local rep, which is right down the road from you. Most of my customers are within 150 miles of where I work and live and a lot of these people are people that I help you know, throughout the year, brand their calves and wean their calves. And so, you know, I'm essentially working for, for my neighbors and my friends and family. You build these relationships with your customers. It's more than just uh, selling their cattle for them. Uh, you're working for their yearly income in most cases. It's very humbling at that time that you realize how much work they've put into those cattle. You know, they're out there in those March blizzards pulling those calves and saving them, uh, doctoring those little babies. Uh, you know, it's just what it is that's you know, they work really, really hard for a straight year and then they put them on Superior and what they get is, you know, going to affect how they live the rest of the year. You get to really think about the folks on the other end that are getting cattle and both of them are making their living at the cattle business. And what you do affects them and it kind of makes you want to go out and kind of do the best job you can. Well, I think you definitely uh, gain a personal relationship with your customers. You know, most of your customers become your friends. Um, but it puts them on such a national scale with so many registered buyers that Superior has. The, the people that I've met, uh, the ranchers and their families and the buyers that I've met, they become your friends. Truly, truly friends. And then Superior, they talk about the Superior family and that's what they've been to us. We feel blessed to be part of that family. Uh, surrounded by, by reps that are really passionate about improving the bottom line for their customers. And they do a stand-up job, and there's a lot of honor involved, there's a lot of integrity, and I really don't know too many other industries in the United States of America, or the world that matter, that upholds that much integrity. When you shake somebody's hand, it doesn't matter if it's a $10,000 transaction or a, a million dollar transaction, they're going to do exactly what they say they're going to do. 
With the success of Superior Livestock Auction over the past three decades comes the reality that a new generation will someday take the reins. Just like the ranching families they serve, Superior has been planning that for years, and the future is in good hands. There's tons of young, younger people coming up, um, reps, employees. It's just cool to see, see the growth of it. It has really shown me just what generation after generation can improve on. I feel very, very fortunate uh, that, that I'd pick Superior to work with. I was surrounded by great reps, veterans in our marketing industry that had got on board at the inception of it. I think the future of Superior is really bright. One thing that was definitely put at rest when National purchased Superior is that it won't be sold again. Uh, it's owned by a group of cattlemen and a lot of reps are also investors in our company. So uh, the same people that are out here selling, selling cattle for our customers are the ones that have a share in some equity in this company. Superior is a team, you know, it starts with the representatives out in the field and it's the people in the office here, in the office in Oklahoma City, Brush, in Boise, that all work together. And there's a lot of, a lot of things behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. Uh, the video editors, uh, the software developers, the IT director, Kevin, and systems administrator Chance, and, and they go out on the road during the summer and they put everything together. The auction crew, uh, you know, the auctioneers. We all work together for one goal, and that's to sell the cattle for as high as we can. To take care of that rancher, it's his only paycheck for the year. You know, the foundation of trust that's been built, we're continually working on. And the next generation of the Superior Livestock family is going to continue to innovate and uh, be, be a part of the cutting edge of how livestock get marketed. So uh, as, as you have trusted us in the past to build the foundation and the relationship that we have, we certainly hope that you'll trust us in the future to, to continue that innovation. If you're not a part of the Superior family yet, please give us a call. At Superior, we truly are a nationwide market, from border to border and from coast to coast. But you know what? At Superior Livestock, we're not out to market all the cattle in North America, just yours. We hope you enjoyed the look back and ahead here at Superior Livestock Auction. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for our entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Superior Livestock Auction connects producers to buyers across the U.S. through the largest cattle merchandising network in North America. They're seen by probably pretty much every person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much establish the price. Our customers have a way to purchase bulls without having to physically be at the sale. Because our sale is the second Saturday in February, you never know what the weather might be in the Texas Panhandle. In 2017, we sold nearly 1.5 million head for top dollar. When you watch a Superior sale, it seems like that they do bring a, bring a premium. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have Superior. They have done such an extraordinary job in helping us market our program throughout the United States. Your paycheck is Superior's number one priority, which is why more producers trust Superior. Call us or go online to learn how to sell your cattle the Superior way. Lot C 1373, consigned by the Enos and Company Incorporated, 320 steer calves based at 650. They're home raised in Baker, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 24th. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Thomas Nelson. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. Lot C 1446, consigned by JP Cattle Company, 37 cow calf pairs based at 1250. Located in Hamlin, Texas, they're coming to you October 15th through November the 5th. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com 
or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1477 consigned by Jim and Ty Larson, 200 steer calves based at 630. They're home raised in Forsyth, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 23rd. On a 12 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, gap 4, NHTC, and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. Lot C1498, consigned by the Bressler Cattle Company, 110 steer and heifer calves based at 440. They're home raised in Roosevelt, Utah, coming to you on October the 18th. On a 15 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Shane Frost. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C1518 consigned by the BB&H Ranch Co. 62 feeder heifers based at 790. They're home raised in Winifred, Montana. They'll be coming to you October 10th through the 22nd. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 60, represented by John Henry Beardsley. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1521 consigned by the Cape Mud Springs Ranch, 80 heifer calves based at 580. They're home raised in Dalton, Nebraska, coming to you October the 15th. On a 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 34 plus, represented by Doug Hinton. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Superior Livestock Auction now offers a monthly Holstein steer and dairy video auction. With the largest number of registered and active buyers in the nation, Superior Livestock Auction is your source for lightweight dairy-influenced calves. Sellers enjoy proven price discovery that pays top dollar. Buyers get access to high volume and steady supply. And everyone appreciates Superior's trusted experience in national livestock marketing. Go online at superiorlivestock.com to register and to find out more. Lot C1373, consigned by the Enos and Company Incorporated, 320 steer calves based at 650. They're home raised in Baker, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 24th. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Thomas Nelson. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 903- 390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1446 consigned by J&P Cattle Company. 37 cow-calf pairs based at 1250. Located in Hamlin, Texas. They're coming to you October 15th through November the 5th. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1477 consigned by Jim and Ty Larson, 200 steer calves based at 630. They're home raised in Forsyth, Montana, coming to you October 14th through the 23rd. On a 12 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, gap 4, NHTC, and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. Lot C1498, consigned by the Bressler Cattle Company, 110 steer and heifer calves based at 440. They're home raised in Roosevelt, Utah, coming to you on October the 18th. On a 15 cent slide, they're back 34 plus, represented by Shane Frost. 
This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C1518 consigned by the BB&H Ranch Co. 62 feeder heifers based at 790. They're home raised in Winifred, Montana. They'll be coming to you October 10th through the 22nd. On a 10 cent slide, they're back 60, represented by John Henry Beardsley. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C1521 consigned by the Cape Mud Springs Ranch, 80 heifer calves based at 580. They're home raised in Dalton, Nebraska, coming to you October the 15th. On a 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 34 plus, represented by Doug Hinton. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or contact Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Superior VAC protocols and value-added programs build confidence with cattle buyers. Superior's vaccination protocols are the benchmark for America's beef industry. Those along with Superior Progressive Genetics, third-party verified Superior Source and Age, Verified Natural, NHTC, GAP, Beef Care, and other Superior Value Added programs give buyers the confidence to pay premiums for quality load lock cattle you sell on Superior. Call or go online to find out more. Mark Oppold wrapping up a great sale here and getting ready for another, just another busy day here at Superior Livestock Holstein sale coming up. But right now we're talking horses, second annual fall roundup horse sale coming up this Saturday. It'll be at Heber City, Utah. Joe Leverage with us this morning and talk about that. Joe, uh, I've said before going on the air, you do this two years in a row. Now you've got an annual event. We have an annual event. We're stuck doing it, I think. (laughs) All right. This is, uh, again, your second annual sale, performance horses, trail horses, working horses. Talk about the lineup you've got this Saturday. We've got a really good selection of of some good quality horses, uh, anywhere from some ponies, kid ponies, to rope horses, ranch horses, trail horses, a couple sport horses that will ride and drive, some draft crosses that that do the big gentle stuff and do the tricks. And we got a really good selection of horses. Coming. You bet. And they're coming from a select group of consigners. I know you're proud of them and, and, and want to let, uh, you know, kind of spotlight the folks that are going to be part of the sale with their horses. Right. So, so the consigners we've got that come to the sale, we've invited specifically mm-hmm. because we see what they do in the horse business. They're, they're performance type people, they're ranch type people, they're outfitters. They bring a really good selection of horses. They, they're good hands. Um, they stand behind what they sell and, and they're, they're just really good horse people. You, and you mentioned you've met them at different horse sales or, or horse shows. You know about them personally, you know about their background. So it all comes together this Saturday. Correct. You saw uh, one o'clock, by the way, mountain time, the viewers, those of you tuning in, Again, this Saturday, 1 o'clock, Mountain Time at Heber City, Utah. And, Joe, you've got a, a ride for the cause of money going to charity, I know, and people really will get into that as well. Yeah, so this year we joined up with a company called Bear Hug Cattle Company. They're, uh, it's a group of Army veterans that have, have left the Army. Mm. Um, they select four, four Army guys that, will, uh, that have retired from the Army. They uh-huh. want to get in the ranching agriculture world. And, uh, and so they select four of them. It's a 12 week program. They, they go, they go from Montana, Wyoming, Colorado. They ride horses. Um, they learn how to be cowboys. They rope, they brand at the end of it all. They have a rodeo, a charity rodeo. Um, what we did is provide them with the horses this year. And then we selected the six best that we like the most. And we're going to put those in the cell. Uh, the commission that would go to the cell is actually going to go back to the bear hug cattle company and help their program grow and continue doing what it's doing wow wow well congratulations what a cause uh and we love our veterans at superior livestock as well so we thank you in advance for that so joe again uh saturday one o'clock have a great sale 
looking already forward to the third annual Roundup sale next year. I'll take a break and then we'll get going for it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. All right, Joe Leverage joining us from the ranch here, Heber City, Utah, again that Saturday, one o'clock Mountain Time, all right here on Superior Livestock and click the bid. Again, that Holstein sale is coming right up. Our monthly Holstein steer auction for October 13, 2022. We have an excellent offering this morning of 16 lots, 2,422 head. Five of these lots are late added supplements, two from the Swartz Livestock of Montgomery, Michigan, that'll sell at the beginning of today's auction, and three from Tulls Cattle Company of Bovina, Texas, that'll be offered after N613. Looking ahead to our next regular Superior Livestock auction, October 20, 202 lots have been cataloged for an offering of 23,455 head. Now let's look at our first Holstein steer lot. That'll be supplemental lot N607.1 by Swartz Livestock, Montgomery, Michigan. 160 Holstein steers with a base weight of 300. They deliver January 2nd through 13. On that dead delivery, Holland 15 miles, William Strait, slide them 10, your bet is Jimmy Lambert. And here's world champion auctioneer, Charlie Cummins. Yep, here, and thank you, Clyde, and a little supplemental lot, 160 headed, a good three ways. Here we go. I'm by, I'm get him in January, and 170. Now one, 170, 170, and 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 so we light in 607.2 still working for sports livestock montgomery michigan change that head count to 140 holstein steer new base weight 350 that's 140 holstein steer new base weight 350 new delivery date october 17 to 21 note your graphics they are correct 10 cent slide Coming right away in October. Hanging here, 145. Next lap. And thank you, Swartz Livestock, N608 by SD Feeder, Syracuse, Kansas. 130 Holstein steers with a base weight of 350. Note they're very uneven in size. Going January 1 to February 1, January, February cattle on the Superior Right Slide, VAC Precon, BQA certified, NHTC approved, and the buyer of the A lot has the option on the B lot. Charlie? 200 and 
and how say is Got the option on the B lot. He takes them both, takes them both. Let's go to N609, SD Feeder, Syracuse, Kansas. 130 Holstein tiers at 350. These deliver February 1 to March 1. Buyer of the A lot has the option on the B. Charlie? I'm be here to buy my little bit of a 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 Four fifty-five, Got the option on the B lot. Takes them both. Let's go to N610 now. SD feeders at 130 Holstein tiers at 350. Now these are at Demet, Texas. Demet, Texas, your location, and they deliver February 1 to March 1 on the right slide. Back Precon BQA certified NHTC approved. Buyer the A lot has the option on the B. Charlie? I'll be at 150. Let it up at the hair, pump a bone, and a little bit of a pity 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 bone, and a little bit
Got the option on the B lot. Take some bowl, take some bowl. Let's go to N611 now. N611, a lot to buy. SD feeders, these were still at Dimmit, Texas now. 130 Holstein steers to 350. And now these deliver March 1, April 1, March, April. Charlie? Five next up and thank you sd feeders let's go to n612 by ab ranch stevenville texas 140 holsteins here at the 350 very uneven in size they deliver november 15 december 15 on the superior right slide and back precon charlie in six thirteen, still working for the AB Ranch, Stephenville, Texas. One hundred forty Holstein steers at three fifty. These deliver December one to January one. They are December cattle, Charlie. And thank you to AB Ranch. Let's go to supplemental lot N613.1. Three supplemental lots beginning with N613.1. By the Tulls Cattle Company of Bovina, Texas. Change that head count to 300 Holstein steers. Base remains at 300. Going November 1 through 30 on the right slide. And NHTC approved. Charlie? Hey, 
Seven and a half, you want to do that? Hang and seven, fifteen, have a bit of 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 a Seven minute lot N613.2, still working for Tulls Cattle Company, Bovina, Texas. 220 Holstein steers at 450. Now these go November 1 through 30. Charlie? I'm bit here to bum, hold on a little bit of a hundred of a little bit of a hundred and thirty, thirty one, hundred and a little bit of a 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 hundred and a little
Thank you, Bradley and Jill. Here's N615 by Weldon Awe of Morrill, Kansas. 52 Holstein Steers with a base weight of 975. They go October 17 through 21. On that day of delivery, if we're going to haul them to the scales, weigh them on the truck with a two, six inch slot. Charlie? Lost the consigner, sell that last slot with an if now. I'm a little And thank you, Weldon. And our next lot will be on our next regular Superior Livestock Auction on October 20. 202 lots have been cataloged for an offering of 23,455 head. The auction begins at 8 a.m. Central right after Superior Sunrise at 7.30 a.m. Central. If you'd like more information or to get a buyer's number, call us at 800-422-2117. Join us one week from today when buyers and sellers from border to border and coast to coast get together to market their cattle the Superior way. 